but yeah, it's um, it's not red. It's like, oh, shoot, I found myself. This is embarrassing. Shoot, 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 shoot. I've done it on ounces. Great. Now I am covered in it. Hey guys, I'm Phoebe, and welcome back to my channel. making uh, red velvet cakes because why not um, I've got my ingredients over here and stuff I'm not gonna go through it I can link it down below um, and then I'm just gonna bring up my recipe so I'm making these gluten-free because as you guys know if you've been here for a while my mum is gluten-free okay right step one preheat my oven done um, I'm making cupcakes so I don't need to line anything. Now I need to do the butter and the sugar first, so I've got 150 of butter. I've got my knife and then I need to get my scales. Okay, 150. Okay, I've got 150 of butter. And then I need to do 320 of sugar. Great, now I am covered in it. Oh, that's not even the sugar, that's the icing sugar. Wrong one. Literally says on the top, kind of lines, aren't I? Right. 320. That's a lot of sugar. So I've got my butter and my sugar, and then I've just got out my little whiskey thing, and I'm going to beat these together. Right, and now we're going to add our eggs. This is actually a lot of eggs because this is meant to be for a big cake so I think I might actually end up not making cupcakes and have to do it in a big cake tin because this is one large cake. I mean, I could split it but I've already done it now so <laughs> I'm just going to have to either have a lot of cupcakes or one big cake. I think I'll probably end up having to do one big cake though. Okay, we've got the eggs in and now we're going to whisk them all together. Okay, that looks good and now what do we have to do? Okay, now we need to add the cocoa powder. Now, I don't have any cocoa powder um, and my shop didn't do cocoa powder. So what I'm going to do is do what I've done before is melt some milk chocolate and then just stir it in instead of cocoa powder. It kind of works. <laughs> So I got my bowl and then little life hack, I break it up in here. It's just easier to break. And it might not go how I want, but my shop didn't have cocoa butter, so there's nothing I can do about it. Okay, now I'm gonna put this in the microwave. Do about a minute and then I'm gonna stir it and then I'm gonna come back to it. So I've just got my chocolate out of the microwave and it's boiling. But I'm going to add it into my mixture because that's what it says to do next. And I'm kind of scared because I don't know how much to add because I still want it to be red. So I might not add all of it, but we'll see. Mm, nice. Now, for some reason, it's telling me to add the flour and like baking stuff last, so I have to do the red food colouring and the vanilla extract now. Okay, I forgot the vanilla extract because I don't even realise you need to add that, but apparently you do. Um, so I'm going to do like about two lids full. 
won't taste good, don't we? Now, my local co-op didn't have um, any red food colouring. They only had blue, but I have got this tube and I think I've got enough. I'm just going to add all of it. Okay, I definitely don't know if it's going to be enough. Let's just add it all. Mm. Yeah, it's definitely looking more pink. So guys, it's um, not red, it's pink. Um, it's actually kind of a nice colour, I'll try and show you. It's like this colour. But yeah, we didn't have much pink, and then the pink was kind of going a bit of a weird pink, so I added a bit of yellow to cool it down. But yeah, it's, um, it's not red. It's definitely, definitely not red. So that's kind of a fail, but now we have to add um, things like flour. Although I'm going to add chocolate chips to my um, batter, I've got some. And I think I'm just going to add all of them, because it's like half a packet. Okay, now I need to add my flour and stuff, I think. Milk and lemon juice slash vinegar work, so I think I just need a splash of them. I don't really want to add vinegar, so I'm just going to hope it goes alright, because that sounds disgusting. Um, and then 360 of plain flour, okay. Shoot, 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 shoot. I've done it on ounces. I have to buy some new flour because we don't have any. Um, so how much is in here? One kilogram. So how much do I need? 360. Okay. Oh, this is a large cake, guys. Oh, sh Okay, it's fine. Put it. Okay, that's enough. Um, and then we're going to... And then we're going to whisk it all together. Bicarbonate of soda, okay. So this is quarter of a... And then I also need one and a half bicarbonate but I'm just gonna do one because I can always taste it and I really don't like the taste of it so I'm just gonna do one not one and a half there you go and mix that in and they said a splash of milk with lemon juice or vinegar in it but I'm not gonna do that because it literally sounds gross probably should be following the recipe but it's fine Okay, this is the final mixture. As you can see, it is pink, not red. So, um, pink velvet cakes for everyone. And now I need to go get my uh, cake tin because I was going to make cupcakes, but it's going to be a lot of cupcakes, so I'm just going to put it in one. In fact, I think I might even be able to get two out of this because this is a lot of stuff. Okay, so that I need to line it. I was like, I don't need to line my tins, I'm making cupcakes, but now we are, so... So I really don't know what happens, but now we have a two layer cake situation going on. So I'm just going to put this in my oven. Um, this is how it looks. As you can see, it's pink, but I feel like it's going to taste good. Okay, I'm finished. And then I will be back in half an hour, take it out and put the next stuff in. So guys, so guys, it's done. Ooh, it's kind of hot, you know, I've even got an oven glove on. I try not to burn myself. And then I need to get like the thing. I'm gonna leave it to sit for a bit and then I'm gonna get the thing um, and put it on there so it can cool. Okay, so I've just put it on the little rack thing to cool down and it's cooling down. Also, sorry about my air fryer, you can hear that in the background. Um, but I'm just gonna put the second layer of batter into the cake tin now. Put it in. Um, here and I'm going to put that in the oven. 
put it on for about half an hour and I will be back. Hey guys, so it's about 45 minutes later. I took it out but then I was having dinner so it's like kind of been a while. Um, but yeah, they're both cool. And this one I need to take out of the thing because um, I don't know because I was having dinner and I can flip that up my down. Be careful with flipping it because you do not want it to break into a million pieces. So I think it is going to anyway. I don't think I can get uh, away with that. Oh no. Guys, it's raw in the middle still. Shoot, okay, we're putting it back in. We're putting it back in. We can rescue it. We can rescue it. I hope. I don't think there's any rescuing in that. So we're going to try it then. Wow, that was great because I could have done that earlier and it wouldn't have broken because it was basically raw, a little, like only a little bit in the middle. So the top caved in when I tried to pick it up. So we've now got a bit of a sunken cake. So I think I'm going to use this one as top because um, this is embarrassing. But yeah. Hey guys, so it's about 45 minutes later. I took it out, but then I was having dinner. So it's like kind of been a while um but yeah they're both cool and this one i need to take out of the thing because um i don't know because i was having dinner and i can flip that up so down okay. so be careful with flipping it because you do not want it to break into a million pieces so i think it is going to anyway i don't think i can get uh, away with that Oh no. Guys, it's raw in the middle still. Shoot, okay, we're putting it back in. We're putting it back in. We can rescue it. We can rescue it. I hope. I don't think there's any rescuing in that. So we're going to try that. That was great because I could have done that earlier and it wouldn't have broken because it was basically raw a little like only a little bit in the middle so the top caved in when I tried to pick it up so we've now got a bit of a sunken cake so I think I'm going to use this one as top because um yeah, this one turned out okay I guess okay I finished cutting it the second time oh shoot by myself Okay, so um, this cake is fully cool, and then this one's in the fridge just to cool down a little bit more. Yes, you can do that. It's a bit weird, and I'm just fasting. I'm just speeding up the process. So now we're going to make the icing because I think that one is almost cool. So um, usually you make cream cheese icing uh, for red velvet cake. Didn't have any cream cheese. I forgot. All right, um, and the Emmy shop. So. Um, I've got a milky bar, so we're gonna make white chocolate icing or white chocolate buttercream. So I've got that. And then I've got some icing sugar and I've got some butter. I'm gonna use this butter, which is like large because it just is easier to be buttercream because it's softer. Um let's get a bowl. So step one is to break up all of this. I'm gonna make like quite a lot of buttercream because I just want to. So we're going to use two bars of chocolate because, you know, we're going to put it in the middle and on top. And then if I make, like, too much worst case scenario, I just cover the whole cake. Why well, I'm making such a big cake. There's literally, like, three people eating this. Because, like, it's going to be... My stepdad can't eat this because it's got milk in it. It's going to be me, my mum, and my friends who volunteer to eat some. <laughs> Anyone wants to come over to my house and have some cake, um, you know, in the garden, it's COVID. Just line up, we can have a, you know, bakery. Also, I was going to mention in this video why I haven't been uploading. Um, lack of motivation, mental health, and last weekend I went away. Um, I will get into that maybe at some point. But due to people watching this channel who I haven't discussed it with, I'm not going to right now. 
I'm probably so confused about this right now. Don't worry, it makes sense from this. Um, that's two bars. That's like less than the bowl for more. Okay. Apparently you don't get anything in these anymore. And I'm going to do 30 seconds because it is white chocolate. It melts like really quickly. And then in another bowl, whilst that's melting, I'm going to do icing sugar and butter to make the... Oh my god. This is hard to get off. To make the buttercream. So it's the bowl I'm using. Yeah, shut up, microwave. just don't want to burn it, you know? Right, and now we're going to do the butter and icing sugar. I always try and follow a recipe and it doesn't work, so I'm just going to eye it. Right, let's do... Not that much butter to start with, I can add some more. And then, icing sugar. And let's mix that together. So I don't really know how I'm going to do this, I think I'm just going to add it in with a spoon. Oh my god, that looks so good. It's a little bit dry. Cake, and then we're basically going to put the icing on the cake. guys thank you for watching my failed um cake baking video i hope you guys enjoyed i sure didn't because this probably is gonna taste awful actually it might taste all right i mean i didn't do anything in the recipe wrong it just looks awful <laughs> okay guys i'll see you guys next time bye